Good day guys, Bing here. Um, today we're going to uh, try this one. Um, so, which is this. Um, it looks like <laughs> it's quite complicated structure and I um, I think we're going to just um, model part of this. Okay, so, <laughs> um, so we can see all these um, structure. So we try to um, do something similar. Okay, similar. Um, okay, so let's start. So, so it will be something like this. Okay, so um, I will. Uh, it's quite simple, so I'll just probably just uh, close it. Um, okay, so first. Um, Let's start with a. Um, we can we start with a project, and then we can just use a modeling place uh, mass. Okay, so I'll just do a very very simple uh, shape. So it would be so it would be a like a sweep, um, and I'll just maybe just draw two reference line. And let's go to 3D view. So these are the two reference lines. And then we're going to place a point you draw on face and place onto this. And then use reference. Uh, I'm going to use a star and radius arc. And you draw on world plan, set world plan, pick the vertical world plan of this point. So now just roughly. Uh, so actually, oh, I'm going to do this. Uh, maybe I'll use a center and arc. And do a circle, half circle, something like maybe something like this, and then I'll just use this circle as a reference, and then roughly, so maybe just do a do one. It will be um, from this image, so one, two, three, and maybe another three, so it will be six. So roughly, do something like like uh, like this, okay, and then do another one, uh, maybe here this and then the midpoint like this and then uh, we can just tab select this one we can delete this and then we can select this three and DM and with this copy checked and that's it so now we can select this and this create a form <laughs> okay so that's fine so we can see uh, it says an open profile can cannot be swept along a uh, multiple segment length uh, path that's fine we can just close it use reference line draw on work plan yeah and then we just close this so now we can select both create form and that's it okay so now we can select the uh, you can tab select individual surface or you can select the whole thing so it, it will be the same but because we don't, oh yeah, <laughs> because we don't want to create a p um, pattern on this side and this side and up and, and the bottom side, so it's probably it will be similar. So you can just create this divided surface, or you can just create a divided su surface on the whole thing. So it will create um, a divided surface on all the surface and then you can just select this uh, and delete okay so you can delete and then the button as well so let's just delete and delete so now we have the volume surface only on those uh, curved uh, surface and then um, we can so let's select all so I just use filter and uncheck everything except the volume surface and then we can adjust. So I'm going to change the number. So I'm not sure which 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 side. I'll just type two for this one. Let's have a look. Uh, yeah, I think that's it. So we want to. So uh, eventually we will create a, a structure. So it will. We need to use a three point. Okay, so one, two, three. So that's enough. So two for this grid, V grid. Uh, for U grid, I'll just type in a smaller number because I don't want to create so many, right? So I'll just type three maybe. 
Okay, so maybe a little bit more full. Okay. Um, okay, so it looks like we have some issue here because when we you know create four, so you can see one, two, three, oh, sorry, it's four, yeah. So one, two, three, one, two, three. All these grids are not aligned. So if I click on top, so you see, uh, eventually when we create those uh, structures, they are they will not be uh, aligned. So I think uh, it's um, probably we, we 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 can't use this U grid here. So instead, what we can do is we can use a uh, grid by intersection. So let's go to uh, maybe side plan again. So I'll just roughly just. RP reference plan so you can go create uh, here cancel this you can also go to create a reference plan here <laughs> reference plan so now I'm going to just draw roughly just draw so from this grid roughly here and then draw all the way down to here and also uh, to make it easier to select we can give it a it give it a name so let's just now just uh, uh, copy maybe copy uh, oh, looks like the angle is different so maybe and also one thing about reference plan is oh, looks like we can rotate <laughs> anyway that's fine so we can just copy and rotate and move so let's name it two so and then I'll just do another one RP and then this one let's name it three Okay, so so let's just do this side. Okay, so and we can then select. Uh, I think we can't do it. Uh, we, we we can't select multiple divider surface and do it all together. So we have to do it one by one. So select this one. So we need to uncheck. So uh, this one U grid. So click on this U grid. So to get rid of this uh, grid. And then we can go here to use intersect list, pick the reference one, two, three, click OK. So now you can see the grid. These are the grids. Okay, so it's along with this reference plan. So now do the same, select this one, you on grid, uh, delete, delete your grid, uh, intersect list, select these three, finish. Same, this one, your grid, intersect list finish this you grid in the set lids one two three finish this you grid in the set list <laughs> okay so the last one so uncheck the you grid in the set one two three finish so now let's have a look maybe go to 3d view so now you can see all these grid they are aligned right okay so the next step is uh, we're going to create those um, like trusts. Okay, so uh, it will be a adaptive family. So one, two, three, three points adaptive family. So new family generic model adaptive. So in this family, we start with three points. One, two, three. Select it. Select them. Make adaptive. So I'm going to just move the point to up. So now we let let me show you. Um, we need uh, extra points. So why? So if we use one, two, three, three points to create a this. So this is a spline. You can see. Uh, you won't be able to get a arc shape. So arc. Okay. So spline is slightly different. You can see this. It's a uh, straighter on both end. Okay, so we we want this one to be more like um, uh, curved on this side. So what we can do is let's just uh, dissolve this. So we can place a point uh, very close to the point one point three. So we're going to use draw uh, draw on a work plan, set work plan, pick the horizontal work plan, and place onto the point, and do another one, set work plan place so now select the new point we just placed typing a very small number offset one for example now we can select so um probably won't we won't be able to select 
five points. So these are five points, three adaptive points, two normal reference points. So let's try it. So now you can see it creates some random shape. So now control Z. So we're going to do this. Select these three, create an uh, curve arc. Oh, sorry, spline. And then select this spline to, and then select the point with one offset, and cl click on this uh, spline through points again. So, so this will um, will continue this spline. Okay, and then again, so select this uh, spline and select this point adaptive point, so we can finish this. So now we have this, um, and can change this to reference line. So now if we move this up a little bit so now you can see it's closer it's 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 still not a perfect uh, arc but it's uh, closer okay don't worry about <laughs> this so now this is the first step and then we can just place a point you draw on face place on to this create a reference we're going to use circle draw wood plan set wood plan pick this wood plan place a circle so let's make it 50 for example and then we need copy this cc copy and pick new host place onto this and we can select this one two three so two profile and one path to create a form okay and then select this point type in zero to to uh, move to this endpoint and this one will be one okay so now we have this the next step is um, if we if we look at this one. So some of this um, looks like there's an offset from this. Okay, so offset. It's not uh, directly con connected from this point to this point. So what we can do is we can um, place a point. So we can place another point. So let's place a point. Draw a word plan. Set word plan. Pick the horizontal word plan. Oh, looks like. We should probably hang on, let's cancel this HH H, because we're trying to just hide or uh, maybe only have these two adaptive points visible. So type HI. Yeah, I think that's better. So place a point, draw word plan, set word plan, pick this horizontal word plan and place onto the point. Um yeah, that's uh I think that's fine. Yeah, so that's um uh, another point is the one we place profile. We pro uh, we place profile file on. Okay, so place another one, and okay, and then we can select this point. So yeah, so look, so you can see the arrows going up. So we, if we type in a number, for example, negative five hundred. Okay, and then we can just do select this one. So this this one's uh, the arrows pointing down. So we just need to type in a positive number so um, you can create a parameter for these two um, points so by just clicking on this and then create you might need to, to uh, create two so one with the negative uh, it's just equal negative uh, the other one <laughs> so now let's type HR so we have these two points we can connect them so create another reference line so now let me just hh this form again so let's have a look so we're going to so imagine that's a point one another point and then we're going to create this so it will be um one two three four five five points on the arc or curve one two three four four points on this straight line so select this one we're going to use divided path so you can see one, two, three, four. That's it. That's that's correct. And then for this one, divide path. So we need increase this one by one. So one, two, three, four, five. And then we just need to uh, let me let me think. So connect this. Go up, down, up, down, up. Uh, no. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. So this go up here, down here, up here, down here, up here down here up here um uh something's not right <laughs> so maybe let's re reduce the number we can always um reduce uh, we can adjust this when we need uh this one six so maybe if i go 
down from here so this should be maybe five <laughs> so go up go up down up down yeah i think ah anyway so let's just let's just uh let's continue so the next step is uh we're going to create a because uh, if you can um we're going to um make it parametric make these number parametric so we we need to uh, create a new another family so it will be uh, adaptive family so this time uh, there will be two adaptive points make adaptive let's move them closer so and then create a spline through points and make a reference line place a point draw on face place onto the reference line and then we place a reference circle draw work plan set work plan pick this work plan and this time maybe we, we make it slightly smaller and again cc copy and make, oh sorry control z too fast click on this one not make a, a adaptive use pick new host okay so because this is a straight a straight um uh, path so we don't we don't need to pick the path so only need two profiles so create form and again drag this to this end drag this to this end and this is it so now we can load this one into the previous um, family so we can connect use this one to connect so let's start so I think um, go up maybe we need to increase this number I don't know so go up down up down up down up down up down yeah great so what's this number five this is six okay so that's all good um okay so component so start from oh actually before we place i'll select this divided divided path and together with this type hr so hi okay so it's um now it's easier so, so from here to here here to here, here to here, here to here, here to here, and just make sure you pick the point instead of you know sometimes you 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 can pick the edge of this uh, this family so we don't want that and then this oh hell so what I'm doing so no 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 sorry so we if we do it this way and when you change the number it won't um, automatically adjust so we need to use the repeat so let's try so select these two click on repeat that's it so now let's let me show you so if you change this one to for example let reduce this by one and then you also reduce this by one so it will oh no it's not right <laughs> Uh, hang on, let me check. I'll check the number. So I'll type HR, uh, still HH this, and check the number as well. So one, two, three. What's this one? Same. Um, okay, so looks like uh, we have some issue here. So increase this by one, or maybe by, um, by one is fine. By, by one, so it's five. So this one is okay. If I increase this by two, seven and eight, yeah, still okay. So I think, um, yeah. So looks like we just need to. Uh, so this is what's this number seven. So yeah, I think still okay. Six, seven, six okay so anyway so um if you want to you can um, create a parameter for this one so for example i'll just create a maybe call it n number one n one instance okay uh, maybe uh hell maybe i'll just make it a type parameter instead so this is six and this is five okay so i'll just create another one so this time it'll be number two and oh and oh, sorry n2 type and okay so i want n2 equals n1 minus one okay so now let's have a look so if i go here top type in eight yeah good it's working 
yeah, so it works. But I know that when when I use a, a odd number for N1, it will, you know, uh, kind of break. But yeah, it's not not uh, too um, not too bad. <laughs> okay, so I think this is it. So maybe I'll change, reduce this number by another two. So uh, no, no, that's too not enough. Okay, so this is good, and then we have this one, right? So we already have this one. And we just need this, so I'm going to use the same. So let me create a component. I'll just type SE to snap one endpoint, and type SE again, tab, and that's it. So now let's load this one into the project. So and then we can place this uh, into that uh, modeling place mass. So now let's select uh, select one of these divided path go here so surface representation then turn on the nodes and then we can just place it so create a component from this point one two three and then this will create a trust for us trust sorry trust for us and then we can just oh hell yeah, looks like we have some interesting shape um okay so uh, let me just repeat this one for now. So it looks like we need to fix this one. So this is not right, not right. So uh, uh, let's have a look. I think we just need to go in here. Let's go to the top. It's probably because this uh, this point two. Okay, so maybe let's make it. You know, let's move all these points on one uh, uh, plan. Okay, and then try again. So load back to project two, overwrite, and let's go to um, 3D view. Yep, I think now it's perfect, right? So it worked. Yeah, it's fixed. Um, I think, and then uh, you might uh, ask, oh, what do we do to the end? Because um, I tried. I tried to place a reference plane on this end, but it looks like it, it won't work. But it's, it's okay. We can still place a, a f place a oh hell won't snap. Um, uh, cancel this. Sorry. Uh, it won't snap the endpoint. Uh, maybe that's that's fine. So you can always um. You know, create another reference. So maybe just uh, uh, with the offset, maybe 100 offset from this point. So we just draw another space, and then we can include this. So maybe call, call this zero. And then if I go back to 3D view, select this surface, select this surface, and go here, intersect list, tick the uh, reference plan zero. Click OK. Yeah, so we will uh, create one for us. Okay, so let's do it. Do another one. Let's go to side plan. Uh, create another reference plan RP with offset 100 from this point to to here. Okay, and then also give it a name. I'll uh, call it five, and then select this this divided surface. Go under this list. Tick this box. Click OK. Ah, looks like we have some issue here. Um, uh, <laughs> yeah, I think that's fine. We probably just need to manually place it. Yeah, that's it. Okay, so it uh, looks like uh, we placed this one on the wrong spot. Type WF, and then we try to pick that point. Pick new host. Uh, looks like this is the issue where the issue is for some reason Revit um, couldn't uh, cut create nodes here so that's why anyway so, so let's just leave it so um, uh, let's just type SD for shade and okay so let's just quickly uh, do another two uh, set okay so so let's do this one first. Go under this, um, turn on the nodes, and also just double check the inter intersects list. 
tick the uh, 0 and 5 and then we can just play create component just uh, just make sure uh, it's a little bit tricky when we have this model uh, there so type hi so isolate and component 1 2 and 3 and okay so select we can select it repeat that's it looks like we have some uh, the same issue here as well so I'll just ignore this uh, okay <laughs> um, maybe also delete this one as well so you can always uh, place oh hell so now we have this nodes from this so I think we can you can place it properly so one two and three yes so it works so however we don't have these nodes here so yeah but still we can place we can probably just place onto this uh, this endpoint yeah well good so let's do another one select this nodes double check the intersects list finish create component one two and three make sure it's picking the picking the points yeah see this one so it's a circle with a cro cross so if, if you place onto the uh, the model so you can see it become a, a square so uh, this the different okay so make sure because you want to use the repeat if you do not place onto the nodes it won't work ah <laughs> this is not right <laughs> control z so maybe so let's um let's do it again but this time so isolate hi select this divided surface type hi so to make sure you you place these uh, adaptive family onto these nodes so now let's do it again repeat yeah that's better so and maybe just oh, hh this create component one two and three okay so this is um yeah so this is it and then uh, you you might want to uh, hide this so you can just um let me think what what can we do to hide this? Uh, try to select. Okay, so let's see what happens if I uncheck this. So, okay, so if I um, uncheck the visible f um, box and then finish. Okay, so this is what we have. That's fine. So let's see if we can give this uh, some materials. So go uh, go back to this again. Select this, and okay. So go to once again. Go to surface represent, represent sorry representation, and turn on the origin surface. And then we can give it. Maybe just use the glass. Oh, it won't. It won't work. We can't type here. So yeah, that's fine. So finish. So now we have some material. So let's do this one as well. Original surface, click in glass. OK, OK. And this one. And glass. OK. So now let's finish this um, mass and see what happens. OK, so now you can see we, have, we still have this uh, truss, the structure. And then we can see some material. Here. so although there's no thickness but um, I think it's it's okay <laughs> and then of course once you place that those uh, these onto this it will yeah it will look like this one and then um, you probably don't want to see the grid so you can go type VV type M go uh, sorry M mass with mass uh, here uh, oh I think you probably need to click on this one first yeah uh, no 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 
Yeah, sometimes <laughs> I think this is always this is something always like confused, quite confusing. So um, so we have this option to show mass by view setting, and this show mass form. Okay, so I think I'll use show mass by view setting. So which means we can type VV, and because current is on uh, on invisible, so we turn on the mass. And under this mass, this subcategory, so we can always turn off the like the grid line. So if if I click on apply, you will see it will show everything, right? And then you can um, if uncheck the form, okay. So that's the form. So the glass we probably want to have the form. Uh, we can turn off the grid lines. So these are the grid line. And also we can so this one's fine I think um, sometimes we uh, if uh, we want to turn off the nodes so, okay so you just uncheck the nodes yeah so actually they are previously they, they were so you can see they, they were visible I just uncheck and this is it so um of, oh sorry <laughs> uh, of course this is only part of this and also it's not perfect so you can see this but for a conceptual um, model, so I think this is uh, um, quite uh, quite good. I think. <laughs> okay, so once again, let's turn on the grid line and finish this grid line. Not finish this model, but finish this video. <laughs> okay, so um, this is it. So um, so basically. Uh, so the idea is to create a mass and use divided surface and then we can just use adaptive family to place some structure so for uh, uh, just use the form uh, the original form for the, the glazing and that's it and of course this model is oh sorry wrong one this model is uh, it's quite complicated so it's probably uh, not that easy but this is just uh, some um, some basic method, right? <laughs> so that's it. Uh, if you have any questions, please let me know. Um, I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.